Hey boys, it's Armnad. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Mammoth Patriot military spec. This thing just got added into GTA right now. I can't wait to customize this. Let's hop in. All right, guys, so starting off with the armor, we are going to go all the way up on that. We can add armor plating to this thing if we so choose. I think that looks dope. I really like what that actually does to the car. So we're going to put that on. Why not? 150 grand. Who cares? Race brakes. We will put those on for sure. For the bull bars, we have a lot of different options here. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's kind of sick. Man, there's a ton of different options. Ah. Uh, I honestly don't know which one I like the best. I feel like the black looks really good. Maybe we'll go for this one, the wide grill guard with four fogs. I like that. Let's do that. Now for the front bumper, we do have several different options. Oh my God, you can make this thing beefy as hell. Yo, wow. Um, I kind of like the black low profile bumper. I think, yeah, we're gonna go for this one. Now for the rear bumper, I'm assuming, yeah, we do have similar options at the back let's go for the hmm i almost like the stock one i like the stock let's keep the stock for the engine all the way up of course for the exhaust uh oh side exits oh no single exit okay out the side oh you can do a dual exit though let's just go for the side exit chrome exhaust i don't really feel like this car needs something too fancy so i feel like the chrome is good now for the hood we can of course make it the secondary color we can add a primary vented scoop hood okay um wow primary chrome vented cover what does that do to it why does that it's interesting um let's go for the primary vented scoop hood i don't really love these other options too much so we'll just leave those alone now for Imani Tech, of course we can put remote control or the missile lock-on jammer onto this thing. Let's do the missile lock-on jammer, why not? Now for the headlights, we are gonna go Xenon, of course. Now for the livery, ooh, we can add a couple different things to this thing. Oh, America, let's go, holy. Um, I think, oh, okay, it doesn't have as many camos as I was expecting it to have, but it does have a few. If you guys are interested in that sort of thing, you can of course do that. I don't mind the military issue uh, livery for this thing. We're going to put that on. I think that looks good. Let's just do that. Now for the mirrors, of course, we can change these up. Ooh, I kind of like the black bolted wide mirrors. Those look pretty good to me. Let's go for those. The plate yellow on black, of course. For the weapons, we can add machine guns. I personally don't really want to, though. Um, They look kind of ugly on this thing, I think. So we're just not gonna add them. Now we could add a proximity mine dropper as well, but I feel like I'm probably not gonna use it. So I'm just gonna avoid it. Now for the respray on this thing, I do have an idea of what I want to go for. I hope that everyone else on earth doesn't do the same thing, but they probably will. We're gonna go desert tan. And for the secondary color, we are gonna go with either a matte black or maybe tan as well. I feel like a matte black looks better though. Let's go for matte black for the secondary. That looks good. Now for the roof, of course, we can change it to a primary colored roof, but we do have a bunch of things that we can add to this thing as well. I kind of like the large roof basket with the LED bar. That does look pretty good to me, but I also like the roof basket with the fog lights. Hmm. I'm going to go for that one. Looks really good, I think. Now we can change the side steps on this thing. Ooh. Oh, man. It's gotta be the stinger. That looks crazy. That looks so heavy duty. I like that a lot. Sweet. Now for the suspension, we can lower this thing quite a lot, but I don't really see the point in doing that. Uh, we're gonna leave this thing at stock height because it's, it's great. I think it works good, so cool. Now for the tailgate, we can change the color of this thing. I kind of like it with, with the black detail there, so I'm gonna leave it. Transmission, we will go all the way up with that, of course. Now in the bed, oh, we can, oh, oh, interesting. That is so sick that you could make it have the hard top on the bed. Man, we gotta go for that, I think. That looks so clean. The primary solid hard top, that is so sick. I really like that feature. Uh, turbo, of course, we will add that to the car as well. Now for the wheels, they are gonna be off-road, I think. I don't wanna go for like a, you know, a street spec wheel though. I think maybe the concave steely. That looks pretty good. 
Uh, we could go for the mill spec steely as well. We'll go for we'll go for the police issue steely. That's cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. I'm sure I have, but like I don't remember, you know. Uh, and for the wheel color, I think we got to go desert tan with it. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay, bulletproof tires. Of course, we are adding those as well. And last but not least, let's tint out the windows all the way. This thing looks so sick. This is what they should have done with the last Mammoth Patriot that they added to the game. I can't remember what that thing was called for some reason, but it came out with the KO Perigo heist. This is what it should have looked like. Anyway, I'm excited to drive this thing. Let's take it down to the ground. We're gonna do a sound test and a review. All right, guys, let's hear what this thing sounds like. Why does it actually sound like kind of good? That's crazy. Kind of sounds sick. Man, oh, this thing feels heavy, man. It feels top heavy, which is how it, it's how it should feel, to be honest. Um, you can definitely feel that body roll, though. That's crazy. Oh, my God. I got a bounty of 10 grand placed on me. Oh, that, that must be from a modder from the session I was in earlier. Um, yeah, that was an interesting one. This thing feels solid. It, it feels like it's a Humvee, like, for real. Like, it... it this is exactly how I imagine a Humvee would feel in GTA um, if we had a proper one. And now, of course, we do. So, you know, this thing, this, it just feels good, man. It feels, it feels like it should. Oh, my God. Yikes. Just completely ramped that car. Um, that was nice. I really like the armor option on this car, too. It makes the doors, like, crazy, and it makes the windows, like, super thick, uh, which is exactly what they did with Humvees in real life. I'm just kind of nerding out over this thing right now, boys. I like this thing so much. It's so cool. If only they added a turret option, that would have been so sick. Get a turret option on the top of this thing so you can have somebody riding around kind of like it's an insurgent, but it's a Humvee instead. It's still good enough. I'm happy with this thing. I, I man, if you're, if you're a fan of military vehicles in GTA, this thing is something you should definitely have. I just can't get over it, and, it, and it's it's actually fast too. Um, if I had put the suspension options on this thing too, it probably wouldn't feel so top heavy uh, because the center of gravity would be you know lower. Um, but you know, even for not having any suspension options on it, it feels pretty damn good. Like, don't get me wrong, it it feels top heavy, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. The truck can handle it. Like, it's it's not really fast enough to the point where like it would cause you to like flip over. I don't think. So it's just really good. Like this thing's solid. I would definitely recommend you guys to pick this thing up, at least check it out. Um, it's not that expensive. It's like 1.7 mil, uh, which I know is it, it, me saying that's not that expensive to some of you. I know it's probably an insult, I'm sorry, uh, but it is, you know, relatively cheap. Um, if you have the trade price unlocked for it, you can get it for like 1.3 million, which is what I would recommend, obviously. But uh, anyway, guys, solid, solid vehicle. I'm glad Rockstar added this thing. I would recommend you guys to pick it up. If you got the money, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you learned something, leave a like, if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.